Hello and welcome to MBKM Models, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and follow for more aircraft documentaries and model build videos. The Bristol Bombay was a British troop transport aircraft adaptable for use as a medium bomber flown by the Royal Air Force during the Second World War. The Bristol Bombay was built to Air Ministry specification C2631 which called for a monoplane bomber transport aircraft to replace the Vickers Valentia by plane in use in the Middle East and India. The aircraft was required to be capable of carrying 24 troops or an equivalent load of cargo as a transport while carrying bombs and defensive guns for use as a bomber. This dual-purpose design concept was common to British pre-war designs. Other entries for the specification were the Armstrong Whitworth AW23 and the Handley Page HP52. Bristol's design, the Type 130 was a high-wing cantilever monoplane of all-metal construction. Bristol's previous monoplane design, the 1927 Bagshot had suffered from lack of torsional rigidity in the wings leading to aileron reversal. This led to an extensive research program at Bristol which resulted in a wing design with a stressed metal skin riveted to an internal framework, consisting of multiple spars and ribs. This was the basis of the Bombay's wing which had seven spars, with high tensile steel flanges and outclad webs. The aircraft had a twin tail and a fixed tail wheel under carriage. The aircraft's crew consisted of a pilot, who sat in an enclosed cockpit, a navigator bomb aimer whose working position was in the nose, and radio operator gunner who divided his time between the radio operator's position behind the cockpit and a gun turret in the nose. When the aircraft was operated as a bomber, an additional gunner was carried to man the tail gun position. In the prototype, this position was equipped with a Lewis gun on a scarf ring but in production aircraft both gun positions were hydraulically operated gun turrets each armed with a Vickers K machine gun. Eight 250 pound 110 a kilogram bombs could be carried on racks under the fuselage. A prototype Type 130 was ordered in March 1933 and first flew on the 23rd of June 1935 powered by two 750 horsepower 568 kilowatts Bristol Pegasus 3 radial engines driving two bladed propellers. Testing was successful and an order for 80 was placed as the Bombay in July 1937. These differed from the prototype in having more powerful 1010A horsepower 750A kilowatt engines driving three-bladed rotol variable pitch propellers discarding the wheel spats fitted to the undercarriage main wheels in the prototype. As Bristol's Filton factory was busy building the more urgent Blenheim light bomber, the production aircraft were built by Short and Harland owned by Short Brothers and Harland and Wolf of Belfast. The complex nature of the Bombay's wing delayed production at Belfast. The first Bombay was not delivered until 1939 and the last 30 were cancelled. The first production Bombay flew in March 1939 with deliveries to No. 216 Squadron RAF based in Egypt beginning in September of that year. Although it was outclassed as a bomber for the European theatre, it saw some service with British-based 271 Squadron ferrying supplies to the British Expeditionary Force in France in 1940. In June 1940 French pilot Jean-François Demose used an abandoned Bombay to ferry himself and 15 troops from France to England after which he became an ace with the RAF the Bombay's main service was in the Middle East, particularly with 216 Squadron, which operated most of the Bombay's built at some stage. When the war with Italy began in June 1940, in the absence of more modern aircraft, 216 Squadron's Bombay's were used as night bombers as well as in their principal role as transport aircraft. The design bomb load of 258 pound 110 a kilogram bombs under the fuselage was supplemented by improvised bombs thrown out of the cargo door by hand. The aircraft flew bombing sorties against targets in the western desert, including Benghazi and Tobruk, and against Italian Somali land until the build-up of Vickers Wellington bombers in Egypt allowed the Bombays to concentrate on transport operations. As transport, 
they ferried supplies and evacuated the wounded during the siege of Tobruk, while on 2 May 1941, Bombay's of 216 Squadron evacuated the Greek royal family from Crete to Egypt. Later that month, Bombay's played an important role in ferrying troops during the Anglo-Iraqi War. Five Bombay's were used by the fledgling SAS in their first official operation in the Middle East. A parachute drop on five forward German aerodromes on 17 November 1941. Lieutenant General William Gott, the highest-ranking British officer killed in the war, died when the Bombay in which he was being carried was shot down in the Western Desert on 7 August 1942. He was about to assume command of the 8th Army from General Claude Orkin Lake who had been removed as Commander-in-Chief Middle East and had been directing the army directly after dismissing its commander Neil Ritchie. His death opened the way for General Bernard Montgomery to take over. Bombay's evacuated over 2,000 wounded during the Allied invasion of Sicily in 1943 and one crew was credited with carrying 6,000 casualties from Sicily and Italy before the type was finally withdrawn from use in 1944. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening and until next time.